All right, some questions from the mailbag. Let's get to as many as we can. John Pascal has a great question. If the head coaching hire doesn't matter for Deshaun Watson, and it was Chris Mortensen that reported over the weekend, Watson wants out regardless of who they hire to be the coach. What is Watson waiting for in terms of asking for a trade? Let me take a crack at this one, Shereen. I think that Watson knows the moment he says, trade me, it's over, it's done, and if they say no, he has to move to the next square on the flow chart, which would be never show up again, potentially pay back a bunch of money, potentially hold out into the regular season, potentially say goodbye to Shireen. We'll try to get her back as we as we work through this, but I think that that's why he's waiting. He doesn't want to make an idle threat. He doesn't want to make an empty request. When he says, trade me, he wants that message to have true potency. He wants the Texans to know it's over, it's done, and there is no going back, which implies that at least for now, there may be a way to get him to turn around. There could be an opportunity to get Deshaun Watson to change his mind, but I think this is more him coming to terms with what happens next after he has to be traded. All right, Shireen would have said the same thing. At Oscar904, is Jacksonville really as bad as Randy Moss makes it seem? I assume he means Randy Moss, the former receiver, not Randy Moss, the NFL Network employee who does some work for NBC as well. Either way, I don't know what Randy Moss says about Jacksonville. Does he say bad things about Jacksonville? Does he say bad things about the Jaguars? Look, this is a team that has shown in the past that it can be competitive. They've lost their way in recent years. They were on the brink of the Super Bowl just three years ago. They had the Patriots down and out in the fourth quarter. A bad call is what saved the Patriots in that game, not anything the Jaguars did. So you've got Urban Meyer. Jury's out on whether or not he's going to be a great NFL head coach. You've got Trevor Lawrence, who's undoubtedly going to be the first overall pick in the draft. So we we see what happens. But I I wouldn't rule out the Jaguars as a team that can get competitive very quickly. And uh, Shireen, you're still there. Any thoughts on Jacksonville? I spent a lot of time there. I lived in Daytona for a couple years. I, you know, it's, it's not the best part of Florida, but you you have to (laughs) want to go there with what they have. And, and look, the Jaguars, I think have the potential to become a competitive team and those fans deserve it along with the fans in the UK. They get to see the Jaguars once or twice a year. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.